Hi my loves, this is Feminine Dark Skin and I am back with another video. First I want to say Happy New Year, Happy New Beginnings. This year is going to be about growth and prosperity and I believe the topic today is a good one for setting the tone for 2021. Today's video is going to be about consumption. What we as dark-skinned black women consume on a daily basis in terms of social media, movies, TV shows, books, music, etc. And how that content affects us. Also how we internalize it, whether consciously or unconsciously. So if you're interested in what I have to say, then please make sure to keep watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now... We all know that dark skin black women have been exposed to and put smacked right in the middle of the negativity regarding our image in the media, on social media, um, and the entertainment industry. We have been the brunt of everyone's jokes. We have had negative promotion and representation or no representation at all. Okay, this is not new. But after watching an amazing video from The Pink Pill featuring Kendall St. Charles, I wanted to give my perspective on this topic of consumption a little as well. I will link their video down below for anyone who wants to watch. So, first things first. We as dark-skinned women and girls have consumed so much negative commentary and images about ourselves, it's not even funny from very prominent in your face messages to very subliminal micro messages and a lot of it has been shoved down our throats okay i am acknowledging that point however i'm starting to notice this trend of us complaining getting upset and pushed away from our goals um to do and to be better because of the content we are willingly consuming now, before I continue, I just want to address that I know we can't live in a bubble and block out every negative thing done, said, or shown to us about us. I know that. But we can control most of what we are watching, listening to, and reading as it pertains to us and how that specific content makes us feel. We do have the ability to choose to protect our mental health and not consume things that make us feel bad about ourselves, diminish our confidence, makes us feel inferior or unworthy. You do have that power, black women. For example, when we are scrolling through social media and someone says something negative about our favorite rapper or friend or about another group of people, we can easily unfollow, mute, or block, right? So why does that energy leave when it pertains to us? We can turn off the TV or cancel a show, quote-unquote, artists, when they show or do something we don't like. But we'll tune in with open eyes and ears when the show replaces us, erases us, and then complain about it while we are still giving them views. It just doesn't make any sense. Like the pink pill and Kendall says, black women are attracted to the negativity. We feed off of it, and it is very concerning. We shouldn't be willingly consuming content that makes us feel icky on the inside about ourselves. We shouldn't be drawn to images that negatively affect us or represent us. We shouldn't be streaming music that bad mouths us every day, all day, and then wondering why we lack the motivation to improve, why we feel so down and drained, so sad all the time. Too much of anything is not good for you, no matter what it is. So for sure, too much negative content about yourself and women who look like you is going to do some serious damage. We as black women have to do a better job of guarding our minds, our peace, and our spaces. We need to stop letting any and everything penetrate because what we consume 
we internalize whether we like it or not, whether consciously or unconsciously. That is why brainwashing is a thing. That's why social media conditioning and societal conditioning and programming is a thing. We are being fed messages all the time. Every time we open an app, read a book, watch a YouTube video, watch a movie, etc. But we have a choice to decide on most of the messaging we consume. Notice I said most, not all, but most of the time we do. We choose to watch that video, listen to that podcast, read that tweet, etc. We choose to. So it is up to us to not choose to consume negative messages about us on a daily basis. It's time to unfollow, block, turn off the TV, change the song, or just unplug completely for a while. It's okay to not be on social media sometimes. I take breaks all the time. It's also time to acknowledge why we as black women are so attached to and attracted to things that cause us pain. Again, the pink pill has an amazing video on this, but I'm just going to give my two cents. We need to acknowledge that a lot of this contentness we feel with negativity, struggle, and pain is because of fear. Fear of the unknown, Fear of being treated better, fear of actually facing ourselves and facing the fact that a lot of our predicaments we were or are in are because of decisions we have made. That's a whole nother video. But what I'm saying is we are so accustomed to abuse that heading towards something better scares us and causes a lot of us to self sabotage or go back into familiar territory in spaces of abuse this is something that a lot of us need to work on and a cycle we need to break in 2021 another reason we seem to be attracted to abuse is because the abuse is coming from the very people individuals men that are supposed to protect support provide build cherish and love us as we do them And because it is so hard to let go of the men in our community to see them for who and what they really are and even juggle the thought of leaving them behind, we convince ourselves that they hate, they spew as love. The name calling, humiliation, degradation, physical, emotional, and mental abuse is love. And... They contribute to it with their, we are saying this or doing this because we love our women and we want you guys to be better. It's a form of brainwashing. Other people in this community do it too. They do it out of sisterhood or allyship. It's all a game. A form of mental gymnastics designed to keep our self-esteem low and our minds easily penetrable. If you are not secure in yourself, in who you are, in what you are worth, which a lot of us are not, at least not yet, then you are an easy target. You are easy access. This is something that has to change if we truly want to level up. We are going to actually have to acknowledge and confront the dysfunction in ourselves, in our community, in our relationships, if we ever truly want to progress. And a good starting point is cleaning out the negative content, the negative people, the negative messages, values, beliefs, images, etc. that do more damage than good, that are holding you back, bringing you back to square one, and making you feel horrible about yourself. Remember, we need to guard our minds, our peace, and our spaces, and that we do have the power to control what we consume. We do, ladies, we do. So that's all I have for this video. I want to thank you all for listening, and thank you all for sticking with me. 
through 2020 and now we are in 2021 it's only going to get bigger and better from here um if you like the video make sure to like comment um any new ideas that you guys have for 2021 regarding black women and consumption any um dark skin black women or girls on youtube makeup gurus instagram um influencers just positive energy that um you would like to promote put that down in the comments and also make sure to subscribe and i will see you all next time bye bye